Good morning everyone, it is Monday morning, it is half past ten and I am in my office once again and my computers are all just setting up and getting ready to go. Um, it's Monday morning as I just said, um, I had a really good weekend, so this weekend I went up to London um, I went to the Prince Edward Theatre to see Aladdin and anybody who loves Disney, go and see this um, show it's absolutely phenomenal and um, it was for my birthday which was back in August the end of August um, but we combined it with my best mate Vix's birthday as well so we went up this weekend we had a matinee um, and like one of the little boxes at the front it was just incredible incredible and breathtaking um, I am a huge Disney fan um, a 27th birthday surprise for was um, to go to Disneyland so that was you know that kind of shows you um, so it was a really good weekend. Um, it's her birthday today. Um, so tomorrow, me and Phil are throwing her a little like birthday party. So we've got like loads of nibbles and movies and all sorts, and that'll be really good. Um, and then this week's a little bit quieter than last week. So last week was London, London meetings, all sorts. Um, this week I've got one meeting, um, which is for the Romsey um centenary celebrations next year and um, i also need to find out what the church is doing for remembrance day because i do know that they're open i don't know whether they want anything down there um so i need to send an email over to mike uh and yeah that's kind of it i'm just pulling together like everything i went through last week trying to find a few um studentships potentially um and some project managerial jobs and finger well it will happen this week but fingers crossed from everybody please um, the Wellington Trench bid will be going in this week, which I am super, super excited about. It's been a long time coming, um, but I think we're there. I think, I think we're all really happy with it. Um, just a few tweaks that I'm going to do today. Um, send it over to Sue for her final look over, um, and that'll be good. So that should be, that'll be, the, the application will start to be submitted by around Wednesday, I think. Um, and then it's about, Eight weeks so fingers crossed we'll know um around christmas time and um, so we have a big announcement in the new year which will be really exciting um and then this weekend is obviously remembrance weekend now normally for a world war one historian it's a really big time um however romsey was a little bit behind in getting organized and um instead i have a um so one of phil's best mates um got married in las vegas a few weeks slash months ago um, and it's her like little party thing on Saturday night um, and we're staying over at the hotel so I then have to rush back for Remembrance Day and um, parades and things um, but really next year is going to be the big one for me um, and I'm just trying to get my head in a place where I can try and start really pushing um, your history revealed and all of the stuff like that because now's the time to do it um, as I say I gave myself like two months up the upping the social media campaign and all of this just to see whether I can get myself um noted I think really um a little bit disappointed by a few people but this keeps happening and I should really know by now that that you know some people out there promise you the world and give you absolutely nothing back and that doesn't mean you should give up that doesn't mean you should stop um <clears throat> it just means you push harder to show them that they are wrong um, and that you don't need them in your life. You know, I'm really fortunate to be in a position that I am in. Um, so I just have to keep using that and, and keep taking advantage of the position that I'm in, the people that I know um, who are supporting me and just keep going forward. It's all I can actually do at this moment in time. So I feel okay. Um, as If that grant gets in, then that's a lot more money in my back pocket, which would be absolutely brilliant for next year. Um, with it feel, being Phil's birthday um, yeah you know he spoiled me for mine I want to spoil him for his it's his 30th it's also his first um, in, a, in a different kind of relationship um, where we've all had our problems but uh, yeah we're, we're all moving forward and then of course the dreaded conversations are coming out about Christmas like where are you going to be for Christmas are you here are you at Phil's are you with Phil's family and it's like I don't know this is one bit of Christmas that I absolutely hate because there is such a demand to be like, you should be with my family, you should be with your family. And it's, it's so, like, Phil felt, feels it the same and the pair of us are just like, should we just hide away for it? 
Um, <clears throat> I mean, we don't want to disappoint anyone, but we physically can't be in like so many different places at the same time. So it's it's going to be a, a wait and see and figure it out as we go along, um, kind of game. Um, that being said, it's the, it's the Christmas presents that do my head in. I never know what to get anybody. Um, and I've just spoken with uh, Bex from B and Q. She's got a week off in a couple of weeks' time, and we're just going to go shopping. And I'm hoping, she says. Um, to get the majority of presents done. We are then headed to Manchester a little bit afterwards, um, me and Phil. So hopefully, like, between those two shopping trips, we should be able to get everything done. Uh, me and Phil decided that we're not going to do big presents, we're just going to do, like, um, like a little sack for each other with a limit of 50 quid on, um, just because there's nothing we really need nor want, and we've got family already going, well, what do you want, what do you want? Um, and we're both like, no, don't know. So we just thought this way we can have a bit of a fun and games with it. Um, <clears throat> so that'll be a bit different for us. Um, Christmas cake was baked here in the house yesterday. I'm going to make a little one um, in the other house um, probably next week, I would say. Which is leaving it a bit too late. If you all, all are fans of traditional Christmas cakes, you should know that they probably should be made by now. Um, but it's fine. It, it won't harm it. It will just mean it won't have as much alcohol soaked into it. Or I just have to add more alcohol into it. Hi ho! And um, we did make a really um, nice sponge cake yesterday, so today I'm going to go put that back together um, and make it really nice and special for Vix tomorrow. Um, I don't really think I've got much else to say right now, so I think I'm going to leave it here. I really want to crack on today um, and try and get myself a little bit organised. Um, so, positivity is, is up, um, always a good thing. <laughs> um, a few ideas of what to do, where I'm going with things, and um, there's also a couple of bits I want to chase up, um, and I need to put my expenses in for last week, which is really helpful that they want to do things like that for me, um, because it means I can take advantage of conferences and stuff that's out there that I wouldn't necessarily be able to because of my budget. So um, a massive thank you to the Gateways people um, for helping me on that side of things, and I just hope that I can pay it back to them um, someday. Who knows, maybe I will. Um, but yeah, uh, I hope everyone is well, I hope you had an amazing weekend, I certainly did, um, and it's going to continue to be positive this week, I can't afford for it not to be, um, so I will speak to you all tomorrow morning, bright and early, um, yeah, I hope you're well, and I'll see you then, bye!